What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Don. Back with another one. How to handle your girl in a fight as a felon. Let's get into it. Okay, I know there's plenty of people out there that then, you know what I'm saying, been in an argument or a heated debate with your girlfriend, you know, tempers flying, everybody mad, things going this way and that way. You know, I'm finna tell you, man, the best, my opinion, from me to you, how to go about handling this situation when you got a heated debate with your lady friend. It happens. Happens to the best of us, man. So, first off, let's just get right into it. How to handle a fight with your significant other and your felon on top of that, because we felon the felon over here. Shout out to felon and felon.com for supporting this video. So, as a felon, from one felon to another. First off, uh, we all fight. We've been there and done that. You know what I mean? We all go through things. Um, so don't think you're any different from me and the next person. So that's going to happen in relationships. Um, first off, we all, um, dodge and defense. Dodge and defense is what they're talking about, y'all. You got to, um, it's normal for two, um, people to want to become immediately defensive when a fight erupts. Uh, you may feel attacked, wrong, and blamed for something you didn't even do. Um, taking criticism or statements from your partner as a personal, uh, or, it only adds fuel to the fire. So you feel me? First off, when you get into that jam, you arguing with a person, you need to just sit back and, and understand where it's coming from and where it derives at and what you're really arguing over. Is it about the topic? Is it about, the, you know, not folding, picking up the clothes or is it about something else? With, with women, it tends to be always about you looking at another girl or something about another girl or something that, you know, you didn't give them enough love, affection or attention that they feel they deserve and should have had and, and just recipro it just, you know, makes them do this so first off understand what you're fighting about second step away from the situation and cool down that's one of the keyest thing the, the most important thing for a guy i think is stepping away from the situation you fam you get into that gym with your girl fam you feel me you you, you already heated up and you you know what i'm saying you bother you want to step away from the situation you want to you know what i'm saying argue with her but understand that what y'all arguing about you are the man you 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 and you and you in control it's your domain so whatever y'all arguing about man fam we arguing, it's cool. You, you want to talk to me, I'll talk back to you. But at the end of the day, when I shut it down, I shut it down. I walk away, I cool down. It's no more arguing, you know what I mean? You step away and cool down. Always fight, argue face to face, you know what I'm saying? One of the other things that they, they really mentor and tell us is that don't be arguing over the phone. Don't be doing all that back and forth over the phone. Get a good understanding. Face to face, um, sometimes body language and all other things you can address and you can read into see if it's more to the underlying argument than what the topic of the argument is you know why you ain't open my door it might be that might be keywords for something else so understand that the argument could be more about one to two three four five different things but understand as a felon we already up against the wall because we got the felony so you are you put your hands on it, you get too loud police drive by see you just talking aggressively you the man you automatically in the wrong bro so always step back and address the issue and talk face to face and just take a minute take a breather and see what's going on always um you know it's great to create boundaries um uh, for a fight you know what i mean so know know that you fought with this person before and you know you know how she knows how to push your buttons you know how to push her so that's a boundary right there you know once you know before you pushed a button and she ripped up your clothes or she broke out your window you know not to go that far that comes back into the stepping away remember your past arguments you know what i mean remember that's another key thing I'll tell you. Always remember from the past and don't put yourself back into a pickle that you already got out of. So if you if your arguments keep occurring, that was one of my problems too. I got into it with this girl and it went real crazy. And that's really reason one of the reasons, you know, I got into tr trouble and, you know, I fell into felon. But always remember your past arguments. Don't think that um, things are going to flip flop if they keep showing you that they're not going to flip flop and change up. Same, same thing keep happening. Understand that's just what it is and it's time might be time to move on. Remember why you're in a relationship in the first place. If you really love this person and you really care about this person, this person is there for you. She's your rock. She motivates you and gets you to that other plateau. You know, she's able to uplift you. You never should be in a relationship with a person that's delisting de de you, bringing you down. Bad energy. You I mean every time you try to go out and face the world, you got to go out with um, already deplenished. De 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 meaning she's just draining you that much. So, First off, you got a person that's draining you, that's a, that's a red flag anyway, bro. So one of the things, the best advice that I give to you, if you arguing in the first place in that relationship, remember, it's always a reason why a person is with you because she sees something in you that she can't see from anyone else. 
So always know your self-worth. Know your self-worth. Know that you don't have to argue with anyone. Not yourself, not your mama, not your daddy, not your girl, not your kids. You don't have to have that problem with anyone. Talk to God, leave it into a higher power's hands, and step away from the whole situation. And 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 that's at the end of my um list. I'm not there yet, but that's another one of the key eight um things in managing a fight with your girl is at the end. I'll get to it. But that's one of them. Stepping away. That's one of them. Um and always uh, take care of the conflict as soon as possible. Don't let this stuff linger, guys. You already know girls hold grudges. They get attitudes. They will, you feel me? It will sneak back up and bite you. So don't, don't, you know, something rubs you the wrong way or something comes off the wrong way or conflict. Don't push it under the rug. It's your significant other. This ain't your mama. This ain't your boss. This ain't your, 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 your you know, you're not their servant. You can talk to them eye level, one to one. This is your partner. So be always address something that's on, on your heart, heavy on your heart. How you feel, address it. If she really loves you and this is your significant other, then she should understand and she should be open to having a conversation about it and rectifying it and at least hearing your side of the story. So, you know, that's how it go, bro. You know, you don't have to be overthinking this stuff, bro. You are entitled to your side and your perception being heard, bro. You don't have to degrade yourself for your significant other for a female females aren't always right you aren't always right no one's always right everybody is opinionated everyone has different viewpoints and ways of seeing and and dissecting things so just your partner should be listening to you as you should be listening to her so take things into consideration and nip it in the butt right when it happens don't bite your tongue your partner shouldn't have to hold her tongue and you guys should have a way of communicating with the other with each other that rectifies and doesn't harm the relationship you should always be able to communicate i know that's a big thing in relationships communication but it's true guys you should be able to talk to this person and this person shouldn't belittle you shouldn't put you down should make you feel less of a man and they shouldn't make you feel weird dumb stupid or any of those things bro you should be able to communicate with the person bro so consider that always nip it in the butt consider therapy you know if you if, you, if it's going through it you really love this person this is your, your rock your baby mom, your wife, consider talking to a third person. You know, that's really one of the most professional um, and sane pieces of information and help that I can give you is talk to someone who knows more, who's got a degree in it, who's educated, who, who, who's an expert in conflicts. You feel me? They've sensed and been through all of these situations with other couples and their own relationship. They got deep um, roots in conflict resolution. Resolving, you know, what I mean resolving conflict. So talk to an expert, bro. Get you a little therapist your mom I mean not your mom try to go to an expert. Don't go to a family member Don't go to someone that's biased on her side bias on your side, you know, try to keep it really professional So get some seek out some help and some therapy. I might even leave some links below you feel me of some um, different articles that I that I've read and doing the um, research for this this um for this YouTube um, video today. So I might even leave some links below, but go Google it, man. Look for some help, get some help, talk to somebody. You know what I mean? You know, um, always talk and, and get opinions because you might be looking at it in one way. Someone else can be viewing it a different way and you, and you just need that extra added insight to make things make sense to you and to validate what you were thinking. Cause a lot of times we know what's going on. We think it in the back of our head, but we don't listen to our own thinking in our own ways we need a second validation to be validated so sometimes just open up to other people your friends you know counselors open up and talk and have and bounce ideas off of people that you trust and you think that um you you know you you find value in you think that get you and get it and have a good life so find someone that you know might have been through or gone down gone down the road that you're going down and bounce um information off of them and ask them you know because relationships it's not the first one that you're not the first person to go through them. Not the first person to argue. It's younger people. It's older people. People been in relationships and marriage for 70 years. How did they do it? Talk to a 70 year old man. He'd be like, oh man, when I was your age, I did the same exact thing. I talked to someone that was older than me. They told me blah, blah, blah. And you know, I redid my way of thinking. She did her way, way, way of thinking. And now we made it to 70 plus years and it's our anniversary and we got kids, yada, yada, yada. And I got businesses. I'm successful and she inspires me. I inspire her and we work. We work together. We coexist in this thing called life and relationship together as a union. So talk to someone. Talk to someone, bro. You feel me? Talk to someone. 
Don't get yourself in no jam, no situation. Don't let no girl push your buttons. Last but not least, like I was talking, I mentioned this before. I know I'm really ranting really fast, but keep up with your boy, man. It's your boy, Felton Felton. You know how we do it over here. Take some time apart. This is one of the things that I had to utilize and in, in, insert into my relationships, bro. You need to let that person miss you. Listen, bro, when we're in a relationship, we under a person. We getting it on. We doing all of this, learning them, living with them, moving in, picking them up for work, going to school with them. We so involved with them, bro, that we don't distance ourselves. Miss that person. You get in an argument and it's really heated. Give it a couple days, bro. Don't talk to that person. Give it a couple days. See if things come back to normal. See if things rectify themselves. See if you miss, miss that person. See if you and that person have kindred um, spirits. You know, y'all really just yearn for each other. You, you really just... Man, you feel it. You, you know, you know that whatever y'all was arguing about was was minimal. It was it was irrelevant. It wasn't that serious because you love this person and you feel passionate enough that you are willing to sit down, address the situation, hear their side, understand where they're coming from, talk out your side, not hollering, just talking, giving each other time and space to vent. And get it all off your chest and go from there, bro. You know, if you if you feel that way and you you know what I'm saying, it come down to that, then you know that time apart, it really strengthens. It makes you stronger. So as a felon, bro, always understand that we are already, you know what I'm saying, they already looking out, they already feeling some type of way about us. That's why we, you know, shout out to felon felon.com. If you need any help, any tips, all everything that I do, and I I'm because I am the way I am, I, I give thanks to felon felon.com. Check them out, bro. They got all the help, you know what I'm saying, So, for, for felons. So that's one of the reasons, you know what I mean, that I'm on here venting and helping, um, trying to help other people because we already got so much on our back as a being black and having an ex on our back. So don't get caught up in the in the coolness. and Don't get caught up, bro. Don't get caught up in the, in the real, in the, in the regular ways of life, bro. You feel me? I'm an EMR rant here. It's always good seeing y'all, always good hollering at y'all, um, you know, Felon the Felon, shout out to Felon the Felon for supporting my videos. You know what I mean? Shout out to you for watching the video and trying to better yourself, bro. You know what I mean? Holla at your boy. I'm here again. I'm going to be here tomorrow. You know, check me out. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want me to cover and talk about and bring to you guys. All right, man. Stay blessed.